So I heard that you're confused about the difference between Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what is each software does for videos. Yes, they're similar, but also very different. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what's the difference. Should you know whether or not you should know both programs to get yourself a video editing job or videographer? Should you even know After Effects? Is it even useful? Stay tuned, I'm gonna tell y'all the real-ish. So one of the main purposes of video editing is to have linear sequences so you can cut time. And that is the main purpose of Adobe Premiere and that itself is Adobe Premiere in a nutshell. It is a linear point A to B, you have your sequential order, you, you're editing hour long worth of footage in Adobe Premiere and you can cut time and you have little adjustment layers, you color grade and you put together your movie. That is what Adobe Premiere is for. And I don't want to get too complicated, but After Effects is more along the lines of its name, After Effects. It's known for little short sequences where you have special effects, animations, rotoscopes, you can have motion graphic templates, as well as a lot of special funky effects that you can't really do in Adobe Premiere. So the main difference between the two is Adobe Premiere is what you use for your chronological linear video editing platform, similar to Final Cut. So you're taking a bunch of clips together and you're compiling a long tailed sequence. Whereas in After Effects, you're taking a little bits of these sequences and you're applying special effects to this. And there's things that you can't really do in Adobe Premiere, which I'll talk about in the next part. So to simply answer your question, do you need After Effects to become a video editor or is that what you need? to actually get a position. Is it required that I learn After Effects? Because a little bit about my backstory is I started with Adobe Premiere, Premiere Pro, five years ago, along the lines of CS5, or was it six? And now we're up to Creative Cloud 2020, 2021. And to be honest, I didn't learn After Effects until three, three years ago, two years ago. And that's when I was forced to, when I was actually in a video editing position role. So to answer your story short is that, no, you don't need to learn After Effects specifically if you are in the realm of just being a content creator or video editing. Because of a lot of the things that you can do in After Effects, you can actually do now in Adobe Premiere. Like you can have 3D perspectives, you can have VR digital glitch, you can have a lot of things that they're pulling over from After Effects simply by using a drag and drop system in Adobe Premiere, which is pretty amazing nowadays. But what you do want to learn is, I would suggest if you do want to have a little leg up, is to learn the basics of After Effects. And I actually got a position with a e-commerce company as a video creator and one of the things is that they required me to use After Effects. I got hired I did, I had entry level knowledge of After Effects, but after a month of using the program, I essentially got the ins and outs and I was essentially paid to learn After Effects. And after a month and a half, I was able to do the basics of like motion graphics, understanding rotoscoping, motion graphics, tracking, pick whipping. And for a video editor, I would say it is not necessarily essential, but it's definitely an asset if you know how to do logo animations. You know how to do little simple tricks that you can't really do in After Effects so that you yourself are overall upping your knowledge base. So is it required if you want to become a video editor and is it a must? No, but it is definitely a bonus. So when is it that you're required to learn After Effects is if you definitely want to get into things like like composition, doing rotoscoping, doing more of heavy intense animations in terms of if you want to be an animator and you want to have it like having After Effects compiled with something like Illustrator and doing vectors and yes, that is where you must need to be an After Effects master. If you want to do a lot of heavy animations, you want to do cartoons, After Effects is definitely a must. You can't really do that in Premiere Pro, where Premiere Pro is mostly filming raw footage, you're putting into a sequence, you're making a little movie out of it, where After Effects is much more heavy intensive. Think of it as you're comparing Lightroom to Photoshop. It's good to know both, but you're not gonna like hinder yourself if you, you're not a master at both. As long as you know one of them, you're pretty much the essential thing about learning all of the Adobe 
Creative Cloud platforms is that they're almost similar in the terms of if I know how to edit in Adobe Premiere, I'm slowly can understand things like Photoshop and layering as well as in After Effects. Yes, After Effects is a little bit more complicated to things like keyframes, easy ease, your motion blurs, turning on your 3D alpha layers, your camera angles, and get super complex, but you can do a lot of cool things and tricks within After Effects that you can't do in Premiere Pro. So I hope that answers your question. So if you're still watching now, I actually have a full-fledged 30 minute crash course on how you become a Adobe Premiere user and how you do the basic cuts and transitions and everything that I know when it comes to Adobe Premiere in under 30 minutes. You're not going to be an expert at it, but you will definitely, it's a good place, jump start. Check that out, link in the description and in the comments as well. And if you want to get more serious about video editing and understanding both things and maybe even getting a video job and making your first thousand dollars as a video editor or videographer, get my masterclass as well as all my resources. Check out all the goodies in my description below. My name is Peter. You're watching a broke visionary collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Smash that thumbs up and hit subscribe. Support your boy.